Hey yeah, guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be doing a top five strongest troops in the game. I hope you guys are ready for it because I looked at all the stats of each character and we're going to show you who is the strongest troop in the game. Of course, we will be excluding the heroes for this just because they're heroes and they're not really troops. You don't have to pay for them. So here we go. Coming in at number five, it's the Valkyrie. The Valkyrie does 124 damage per second and she has 1,200 hit points. Now of course I won't be using hit points as a way to determine who's the strongest just because the Golem has the most and he can probably take out more weapons in the Valkyrie. So we're just going to go by strength alone which puts the Valkyrie at number 5. Now what I really like about the Valkyrie is a lot of players are using her in clan castles or to take out clan castle troops. A lot of players are still testing her out to see what spells and troop combinations go well with her, but it seems her best fit is to be a clan castle troop on offense or defense. The Valkyrie wields a heavy battle axe that she does a 360 with, killing everything in her proximity. And with the newest update for the Valkyrie, instead of going for one building at a time, she wedges herself between one or more so that when she swings her axe, she takes out multiple buildings. So the Valkyrie is one of the strongest female characters in the game. So you can't go wrong using the Valkyrie, and she's making it on my number 5 spot. Coming in at number 4, it's the Balloon. Now of course, players may disagree with this, the Balloon could actually be a top 2 character. Just because it's an air troop, and if you've ever seen players use the Balloons in mass compositions, they're really deadly, especially in high levels. But you guys, we're going to do single troops this time and we're only going damage per second. Of course it does have 545 hit points, making it able to get into the target that it needs to get to. And also a perk that the balloon has is it does splash damage when it dies. So a lot of players are using these guys for clan castle troops that they gather together into one spot. Upgrading your balloon to level six means it'll get a toilet bomb and make it even more deadlier. In fact, the balloons are so strong, Supercell released a new trap just to counteract air units now. So whether it's for farming or for pushing, you can't go wrong using the balloon. Coming in at number three, it's the wizard. With 180 damage per second and 164 hit points, the wizard does splash damage and is really good for taking out mobs of clan castle troops, heroes, and even getting through walls. Typically, you will see a lot of high level players using wizards as a backup troop to clear out building structures on the outside so that their heroes and other troops could narrow their way into the town hall to take out and get that 50%. So the wizard is basically an all around good character. Whether it's for offense, defense, inside clan castles or taking out their clan castle, you can't go wrong using the wizard. Although their price is around the mid range, players should focus on using them for trophy pushing only and cleanup work to get the 50% on bases. And with the afro to add to his charm, the wizard is definitely making it to the number three spot on my countdown. Coming in at number two is the dragon. The dragon has 200 damage per second and 2,500 hit points. The dragons, when they started out, would only attack one troop at a time. However, over the years, they have been upgraded to do splash damage, making them even more deadlier. And if you remember, a lot of top players would use these guys over the P.E.K.K.A.s just because they were so good. They didn't used to look like Puff the Magic Dragon, they were terrorizing beasts with snarling fangs. Maybe it's because they were too good that Supercell decided to tone down their look and give us a black air bomb to cause massive damage on air units and balance it out. But regardless, dragons are still used as a top tier troop for trophy pushing and clan wars. You can't go wrong with a dragon making it on my number two spot. Coming in at number one is the P.E.K.K.A. The P.E.K.K.A. does 300 damage per second with 4,500 hit points, making it stronger than heroes. Yes, that's right, stronger even than the king. If you're able to upgrade these guys to their final level, they will dual wield two swords and have a glowing aura around them. I personally use them as my wall breakers just because they're so strong when they work together. You don't really need wall breakers, just one jump spell and they can do the rest. But watch out because if your P.E.K.K.A.s decide to go around the base, they may cause more harm than good, foiling your attack. So make sure you have wizards backing them up or whatever you can do to get them to go right for the town hall and they won't let you down. 
So you guys, please let me know what you think. I will be doing this as a one unit series to see who is the strongest troop as a team composition. Make sure you subscribe for more and I will see you guys next time. Godson out.